I've been through the case to where I've just been like, oh my God, why? I just feel like I'm so alone. Victory is mine. This is day nine of me making a video for YouTube every day for 365 days straight. <laughs> Let's go. Here's the truth about working from home. First of all, I just gotta show y'all this beautiful area that I'm in. I, t I went to this resort out here in Innsbruck and it's absolutely beautiful. I used to play here years ago and now I'm a, you know, uh, what, yeah, I'm patronizing the business. And I'm like, wow, I have come quite some little way. Now, honestly, I can't wait till I'm able to, you know, come back in the springtime and in the summertime to where I can see the trees and all the greenery blossom and bloom because I know it looks beautiful out here in the spring and summer. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be out here again. I have to tell people the truth about working from home. I personally love it. I've been loved it. I've been a business owner uh, for quite some time now. And soon as I was able to make it where I could run the business and be at home, it seemed like everything came easy. I don't like people telling me what to do. I don't like people feeling like they have the power to tell me what to do when I do it and on May time. You know, if I'm five minutes late for work, I don't need somebody saying, hey, sir, <laughs> do you know what time it is? Yes, it's five minutes past the time I should have been here. What? Because I'm still gonna get the work done. I'm gonna probably get it. No, I'm not no probably about it. I will get it done better than the next person because that's what I do. I try to make sure whatever I'm doing is gonna be top tier, unless I'm feeling a little late, but anywho, Here's the truth about working from home. The first thing is you're a lot more independent and that's great. You have your independency. Is that a word? I, I don't think, I don't know. I have to look it up, but you do have the ability to do anything that you want on your time. Now here's the caveat to that. You have to be disciplined. You can do whatever, whenever, and almost however, but if you're not disciplined, if you cannot commit and make yourself do something just because you know you have to do it, now you're the boss of you. And guess what? That's that's almost like a contradiction in itself. You don't wanna have to listen to somebody until you're the boss and now you have to listen to yourself. Number two, it's less expensive. You do not have to drive back and forth to work. You don't have to worry about going to you know the closest Starbucks or some fast food restaurant to get lunch if you didn't take something in uh spending you know what is it nowadays for a meal maybe 10 15 dollars for a meal then you got your four or eight dollar macchiato frappuccino with goat oat milk tossed over twice and a little bit of some baby tears that's sheer insanity i'm out i don't know it's a lot less expensive you don't have to worry about that and I even would go further to say the attire that you have to wear, the dress code, because there's really not none. You get to dress in your joggers and a t-shirt, maybe something a little bit more formal if you gotta jump online, but a lot of people have the, they don't really do a lot of video calling, they do just regular phone line. There's a lot of jobs out there that I've seen and you know, you're not even interacting with anybody to where you need clothes on. So that's a, that's a totally different thing right there, but it is less expensive. So you get to save some money. Now the caveat to that, the con to that, is there a bad thing about not having to worry about spending extra money? No, nah, that, that's just pros on that. You save money, you got more money in the bank, you get to put some money in your retirement account, your 401k, you get to put some in your investment account. And if you're not investing, do it. Start somewhere. Invest in the S&P 500 for goodness sake. Put 50 bucks here, 100 bucks there. Just do it. Trust me, it'll work out in the long run. Number three, increase productivity. You're gonna do things better than you would do under pressure because you're making the effort to put yourself in that place to get something done. And not only are you trying to make sure that you are you know, well disciplined and you're doing this uh, because it has to be done, but you're also doing this for yourself. You should be more productive in a timely manner. You're gonna make sure that certain things get done to uh, you know, the effectiveness that you would like it to. And because you don't have that pressure, you're more likely to probably even work longer. Now, it's been studies and a lot of people have shown, uh, the studies have shown that workers will do more work 
you know, when they break it up in time. It's gonna be better off if I did it that way because now I'm not worried about the overwhelming amount of work that I have on this task because now I'm just gonna be able to split this up. I'm gonna do part one, two, part two, part three, and I might just wake up in the middle of the night and finish part four. Now the caveat to that is if you end up getting a lot of work at one time and you're, you know, really not too effective with your time, you could end up in turn not being as productive because now you're overwhelmed with so much stuff to do and that that nobody really likes that not because now you're at a standstill you, you kind of have this analysis paralysis to where you're analyzing all the shit you gotta do and you don't even know what to do first and number four this is my absolute favorite no distractions you don't have someone coming up to you in the middle of a task or in the middle of getting something done saying so how's that weather out there it's cold isn't it it's winter I know it's cold. Oh man, it's real hot out there, huh? It's the summer. It's gonna be hot. So what are you eating for lunch today? It's nine o'clock, sir. Why are you worrying about what I'm gonna eat for lunch? I don't care about what I'm gonna eat for lunch. If I'm gonna consume it, I'm gonna replenish my freaking minerals and vitamins and, 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 and give my body some energy to continue on. I don't want to give my body the energy to continue on to talk about the freaking weather or what I'm going to eat today or it's Monday and y'all talking about so you know you want to get together Friday night Friday ain't here Friday ain't here yeah oh my god that's insane Stupid shit. Stupid shit. Did you see the game? I don't follow sports. And there's nothing wrong. I get it. People like small talk. Work gets boring and you want to just kind of pick up the conversation. But guess what? I either want to get done with what I'm getting done or if I do have a conversation, I want it to be meaningful. I don't like that, that surface conversation shit be getting the oh my God. But I like having conversations that, that hold some girth and some value, some good weight. You know, let's talk about some self-improvement that you're working on. Let's talk about some goals that you got and you're trying to accomplish them right like what are the strategies and the steps that you're taking to get to where you're trying to go i will talk about that with you i will be more engaged with you on that i don't want to know or hear or have conversations about whatever the hell the kardashians are doing oh my god have you seen the latest rant by kanye yeah and i have my thoughts on that too but look i digress no distractions and it's not always just people. What else could be a distraction? Man, I ain't, I ain't worked a job in so long. What, what else is a darn distraction? Y'all know about these distractions. So I need y'all to name them. Because you know, y'all go into these jobs. And y'all be having this, this bullshit be happening. And I know you know it. So I'm going to have to shut up about my rant. I said I was going to keep it at four. But I'm going to just kind of sprinkle this little bit of dust on there. Because this is a, a major uh, factor of it the fact that you are now kind of isolated that can destroy a person me me personally i've been through it still going through it when you just feel like you're kind of alone because it's only you it is you your work and you might be talking with some people here and there but sending text messages emails things on slack and, and that really doesn't count as the best type of uh, human interaction that you're that you're looking for if you're a social being which we are i've been through the case to where i've just been like oh my god why? i just feel like i'm so alone and then when i'm finally around people it's like i don't even know what to say but then when i am not in my head and i'm around people we're having a good time we're having a lot of fun and that's great but then the next day starts and you're just alone and it's quiet so you don't have it's weird for me to say that now. It's like almost a hypocritical cont contradiction to what I just said, but you don't have those distractions. You don't have those things. I don't know, making your day a little bit more interesting. It's just you and what you're focused on. So then you have to pay more attention to how do you bring yourself some happiness? What are things that you enjoy? Being able to find that, that's kind of interesting. That's, that's entertaining. And it's also a skill. That's what I'm actually dealing with now, learning what makes me happy, what brings me joy, uh, what finds its way to allow me to have more peace and accepting the fact that I may be alone, but I'm not alone. Like I said, I'm just sprinkling some little dust on that. That's all for now. Normally, I would keep that short and sweet so you can come back every week, but this is going to be one that was a little bit longer. I hope y'all are having a good day. This is day nine of me posting, so 
hey, I, I, I kind of like I kind of like where we're going with this. Anywho, be great, be awesome, be cautious out there, and as always, see you at the finish line. Thank you.